So I'm upgrading my 2015 EasyGo TXT golf cart from these lead acid batteries. This is a 48 volt system. Uh, and I'm going to replace those with this VAR, or however you pronounce it. Uh, it's a 105 amp, 48 volt lithium battery. I figured I'd spare you the unboxing, uh, but I took it out, set it up, and I just plugged in. It came, it was 45% charged when I got it. So I set it on the table here. As you can see here on the screen, it's 47% charged, almost three hours to get full charge. And then the screen here has three different pages of uh, stats. So this will be mounted up on the uh, dash of the golf cart here somewhere. I'll mount that. And then it should be a pretty simple upgrade. I've watched some other YouTube videos, read some things. I think I know what I'm doing. We'll see. But I'm going to let this charge a bit. <coughs> and then uh, I'll make a video showing how I put it in the car. I've taken the seat off, removed all the straps from the batteries here. And then I just took the cables that are currently on the negative. I tie strapped them so that I don't get them confused. And then the same thing with the cables that were on the positive terminal. So it should be a simple matter of removing these batteries, cleaning things out a bit, uh, figuring out whether I need to modify something on the bottom to mount uh, this battery. I don't think I'll have to do that. I think there should be plenty of room in here and there should be plenty of mounting uh, support on the bottom. Uh, but I'll take the opportunity once I pull these out to clean it out real good. It's not that dirty. It's been taken, been taken well care of. I bought this used uh, from someone who kept it in a garage and took good care of it. But uh, basically, <clears throat> I will take those lead acid batteries out, clean it up, set this battery down in there <clears throat> and then uh, <clears throat> mount the charger on board <clears throat> and then run it around. I've got a plug here I bought on Amazon. <clears throat> and this plug <clears throat> will replace the plug here. <clears throat> so it'll be a pretty simple matter of taking that out, removing the uh, cables that go to the positive and negative from the plug, just replacing it with the wiring of this one. <clears throat> and there's one wire here that I'll need to cut and put to the positive. I'll show you how I do that when I replace it. And it's sort of, uh, I forget exactly what it's called, but it's, uh, uh, it's, it's a sensor that makes sure that on this one, when the uh, power is plugged in, that the cart won't run. So you can look at a video. I'll figure out what it's called and tell you when I go to do it. But uh, I'm going to short that or just wire that sensor directly to the positive terminal. And then basically just connect everything else back up the way it was. I mean, that's the plan anyway. This charger here, I'll just take off. I won't need it. <clears throat> so I'll mount that on board. And I got a new uh, voltage reducer here to go down from my uh, 48 volts to 12 volts for the lights. This doesn't have a lot of accessories on it. It just has lights and a horn and uh, blinkers. That's about all that it has on it that's going to run uh, 12 volts. So I think I should be able to just use the voltage reducer that's 
on this one. So I'll have to figure that out, whether I use that or whether I replace it. But I think I'll probably just be able to use the one that's on here. It should be a really simple upgrade. But I've said that before and things turned out not to be so simple. So I bought uh, some of these rivets here, these pop rivets uh, from Amazon because I'll need to drill those out to pull up this uh, mat so that I can run the wiring for the uh, display here that I'm going to put on the dash. It goes from the battery to the dash. So anyway, looks like this might be a good upgrade. I hope so. My batteries here died. <clears throat> we, uh, <clears throat> they were working okay, and then we didn't charge it for a couple days, ran it, and ran it until the batteries completely died. And evidently, when you do that, then it's a problem. You can't really plug it in and charge it without putting a trickle charger on each one of the individual batteries and getting them up to a level, and it's just a pain in the rear, to be honest. So. Uh, these batteries were about at the end of their life anyway, so I decided to take the plunge and give this a try. I got this at a really good price on Amazon uh, because this is a 105 amp, and I think they have a new one out that's 150 or 60 amp, and so this one was marked down. But I don't need to do wheelies on my golf cart. I just want it to go, so this is plenty good for me. Plenty of power, uh, and I got it at a really good price on Amazon. So, anyway, I will uh, try to make a video showing the steps that I take uh, as I upgrade this thing. It's going to be another week or so before I get time to do it, but I figured in the meantime, I just unpack the battery, connect everything up, make sure that it's working, charge it up, and so far everything seems to be great. So, we'll see.